Hi there, Jana here. Um, in this video, what I'm going to do is go over how you create a question to select, like when you're selecting a governorate or a state or a province, um, and then you want to select a district from within that province, and then maybe you want to select a clinic or a water point or something else from within that district. And often what happens is if you select a, a province, then actually a whole list of districts will come up and maybe it's not just districts from that province, but also other districts and people are get confused. There's a huge list and then they start selecting districts that are from other provinces. So anyway, it gets a little bit messy. Your data can um, really get be unclean, um, a bit messy. So actually what we can do is we can constrain those lists. So when you select one state or province, only the districts from within that state come up and then only the water points or only the clinics from within that district then come up. Uh, so I'm going to show you, first of all, what that problem looks like and then the solution. Uh, so if we hop over onto the ODK Collect app, um, so this is what I mean. If we select a province, so I will uh, just tap here and let's say we'll select the North province. And if I don't have any sort of um, constraints on this uh, on this question, all my whole list of all districts will come up, okay? So I might choose anything else, but actually even if I choose the central province, the same list of all of my districts come up. And then if I swipe forward, all of my clinics come up. Um, so actually, I, I might actually enter an incorrect district or an incorrect clinic. Um, so what we actually want to do is have a question that if I keep going, so I've just copied and this is a, a totally new um, question where I've constrained it properly. If I select North Province, what we want to happen is when we put a district in, only the districts from the North uh, Province actually come up. So you can see that's actually quite a um, short list, so I could enter that. And if I swipe back and put in the East province, you can see that actually it's a whole different list of districts. And if I choose that district and swipe forward, only the clinics or health centers from within that district come up, okay? So then I can select whatever clinic I want and swipe forward and then I'm at the end. So how do you actually do that? So in the... Um, XLS form, you can see what I've done. So the very first uh, example I gave you where you just got the whole list of everything every time, um, it was just the select one for the province, select one for the district, select one for the clinic. So that select one is actually your multiple choice question, okay? Um, but then I've made it required, but I haven't put any choice filter on there. So, um, but what I did do is I put an appearance for minimal, so that's what makes it drop down. Um, that makes the drop down list. Um, but I didn't put any choice filter. Whereas in my second um, version that I showed you, when we selected the province, and then when the district, when only the districts from that province showed up, we used something called a choice filter. So from uh, in your choice filter column. Um, you want to put something that looks like this province filter equals um, dollar sign open curly bracket then province so this um, refers back to uh, this question here so when we have a dollar sign open curly bracket close curly bracket with a name in there that just refers back to the name of a different um, question okay so province is referring back to this one so when our province filter equals our province, well, what is our province filter? So if you go down to choices, choices tab, um, so like normal, we have a list name, we have a name, and we have a label, okay? But then we can add these extra column names, okay? So we're gonna make a province filter and a district filter. So when I, so these are my province names, north, central, south, east, west. Then when I have a district name, so these are all my district names, well, I can say that Speldel is actually in Central Province. So this is my uh, province filter. 
the Speldell, Butterfort, Westercourt, Cold Oak, Woodfair, Red Marble, and Northwald are all in Central Province. And then Ale Castle, Corecliffe, Buttermont, da da da, they are all in East Province, okay? So I've made a province filter here. So back in the Survey tab, it's a province filter equals province. So wherever the province matches, then bring up those district names for this district, okay? Then we'll do exactly the same thing for the clinic, okay? So except here what I've done is I've put a province filter and I've put a district filter, okay? So if I go back to the choices tab, I'll show you. I scroll down. So these are all of the clinics and these ones are all in central, uh, the central province. Um, but these two are in the Butterfort district, these two are in Cold Oak, these two are in Northwold, etc, etc. Okay, so um, up at the top we have a province filter, okay, so that's exactly the same, so that still continues down here. And then we also have a district filter for these clinics. So under the survey we were going to make sure that the province filter equals um, whatever was selected in the province question and the district filter equals whatever was selected in the district question and that is how you actually create that questionnaire uh, so that just like I showed you at the beginning of the video when you select a uh, province only those districts come up and when you select a district only the health clinics or whatever you're selecting um, from within that district are um, available to be selected. So hopefully that helps you um, as you're trying to put together your own cascade select. Um, and if you have any questions, of course, comment and let me know. And if you like tips about ODK or other uh, data management um, tips for humanitarians, then definitely subscribe and get those notifications to come in uh, to let you know when I'm creating new content to help you out. Okay, have a great day. Bye.